Good morning, everyone. Uh, today is Sunday. Uh, welcome back to the channel. Uh, in this video, we're going to be talking about a couple uh, promotions, a couple deals here. Uh, and it varies from uh, cell phone to TVs and uh, hard drive as well as uh, uh, miter saw. Okay, so the first one we're looking at is, uh, is the OnePlus 8. Uh, this one right here, it's a 5G version. Um, usually it's $800. Eight, actually it's 899 so right now they have promotions. Okay, so you get like $100 off. So, I've never had a OnePlus phone before, so uh, I don't know um, what the quality or how, how it is. I use Google and uh, Apple iPhone only and before that I used to use uh, HTC but if you're into OnePlus and this is the deal for you guys so this one it uh, has a uh, 12 gigabyte of RAMs 256 storage and it's uh, $800 okay so let's see we take a look at some of the pictures here let's go down see if there's any of the specs Okay, there you go. There's more pictures of the OnePlus. Okay, so this is what's gonna come inside the uh, the box. So you got the phone, and you got the 30 watt power charger, and you got the cable. Okay. So what payment method? PayPal and all major credit cards. When will I receive my order? About three to seven business day. Priority shipping, what's the process for return and replacement? If you're not satisfied with your OnePlus product for any reason, you may request a return within 15 calendar days of delivery. Okay, that's not bad at all. Okay, it doesn't say if there's a, I assume that there's no restocking fees for that one. Okay, this one is OnePlus Pro, OnePlus 8 Pro right here. This one is $899. Okay, we can check on the specs here. I guess it's come with three colors, glacier green, ultramarine blue, and onyx black. Dimensions, height, width, thickness, weight, 199 grams. The display is 6.7, wow, pretty huge. Uh, resolution is uh, quad HD, 19.8, fluid AMOLED. 3D cornering gray level glass. Active displays. Uses Snapdragon 865, the latest. Okay, yes. there's two versions. If you get the 128 gigabyte, that'll be, it has eight gigabyte of RAMs, but if you get 256 and you got 12 gigabyte. Battery 4500 milliamp. Okay, three cameras here. This is a uh, different type of LTE here. 4x4 MIMO supports up to CAT 18. Different type of bands here. Wi-Fi, Bluetooth 5.0, NFC enable. Okay. In-display fingerprint sensor. A bunch of other stuff as well. Okay. That's for the One Eight Plus Pro. Okay, I guess that's what's going to be come with the case, um, phone, charger, cable. Okay, I'll leave all the information in the, descri the, in the description below. The next up that we have is the uh, Samsung 65 inch. This is from Best Buy. Uh, they had a sale for 600 a while back. Okay. Uh, this one is the 8 series, not bad at all. This one is 4.7 out of uh, 5. For those of you who missed the sales from uh, last time previously, and here's your opportunity to get this one 65 inch for uh, 600 599 which is an awesome deal. Um, here, some of the pictures. It's hard to believe that you can get a 65 inch around this price range. Because when I got mine, KS 
8500 is like thirteen, fourteen hundred dollars So here, let's take a look at the reviews, what the people were saying about the TV. This one is about three weeks ago, I guess. Oh, about a year ago, but the customers owned for about uh, three weeks. I went from 55 inch 1080p standard HD Vizio to a 55 inch TC, TCL 6 series to be Vision TV and I thought that was it can't get any better than this for under a thousand dollar then I wanted a 65 inch TV with a budget of 1500 I decided on the Samsung and couldn't believe the difference in picture quality over the TCL as you can see five stars right there five star as well so about a year ago, it stated about uh, the budget is under fifteen hundred, but we don't know how much uh, this customer spent on that TV. Okay, but overall, you get the concept that you know this is a quality TV. You know, for the price range, it's awesome. Okay, but Best Buy also has other uh, TVs on sale as well, the QLED as well. But uh, I think recently Best Buy started asking me to input my name and my email email address. For them to display the price range, but uh, I did that, and it, it shows 599s. Before that, you just click on Add to Cart, and you would see the price. But like you know, for some reason now they want the email address and also my name to show the the, the price. So that's that one. So the next up that we have is the table saw. Okay, this one is from Metabo. I think this used to be Hitachi, I believe, and they changed name. So this one is it's good for uh, either on a work site. If you, this is a 10 inch one, uh, 35 inch rip capacity, fold and roll and stand, 8 by 13 by 16 inch data capacity. So the the rating, it's only four out of five stars. We only have 15 reviewers or 15 reviews. And we can take a look at some, uh, some of the pictures here. You can see this one, you can roll it once you're done. It has the wheel. I used to own, I believe, a rigid, a similar, like this as well. Okay, but I sold it because I didn't use much of it. Okay, but for a regular price, it's $4.99. Currently, it's only $184. If for any of you who's looking into a table saw portable one, this is it. Um, here are some of the dimensions: um, 28.75 by 22 by 36 inches. It's electric powered. RPM is 4,500 and it weighs about 96 pounds. Okay, here are some of the stuff that um, customers buy together. Okay. Let's see check out the reviews Let's see any particular thing we should know about this product mm. here we go mmm doesn't look good August 17th which is what like about a month ago arrived beaten up and broken okay so maybe this we could be falling under uh, the uh, the carriers that deliver the um, the package itself broken p a plastic piece that holds up the rip fence after two weeks receive a beat to crap box and after setting up finally get to rip uh fence and plastic mounting pieces busted definitely not a uh, job site tool should be fun to return a hundred pound take a look oh, yay, yay. All right, that's one bad one. Let's go to the next one. Uh, this one recently as well, August 26. Uh, the ability to fold this all up and move it about on wheel makes it extremely valuable to me. Once I read the manual on the proper operation, I can say that I'm happy with it. However, the sliding scale piece was bent on mine as I received it, and I have to call the factory to have it replaced. I received a used one, which works well. Other than that, I'm very happy with the product so did he mean that he received a uh, use replacement mm, that's not good from metabol if you you can send out something you should send out a new one but uh, here the following one is customer service was great so love the saw please take note that I'm a newbie I like how fast the saw stops spinning when you turn it off after minor adjustment the saw proved to be quite accurate 
So we got about one negative two. So the review, review for this one is not that good, but maybe it's just a new product. It only has 15 reviews on it. So just mm, make your decisions uh, wisely. All I can say for $384, that's not really cheap at all. Okay. So we're going to go with the next one is the SSD hard drive. Okay. So I've talked uh, a lot about this before. If you have, if your desktop or your computer laptop um, has the old hard drive, the big one, 3.5, um, it is best to upgrade it to the SS, uh, SSD drive because it's really fast. And the price seems to be going down tremendously. This is a one terabyte and we're looking at only eighty dollars not bad at all used to be like an arm and a leg but now i guess uh, we have a lot of them out there price going lower and lower which is good for consumers like us okay so you're saving about thirty dollars for this product and as you can see this read speed up to 530 megabytes okay and the rating is almost five uh, four point five uh, out of five which is good um Let's see, four times faster than hard drive. That's exactly what I was talking about. I did an upgrade on my Dell XPS 8700 and I could see the boot time is, I would say less than 10 seconds to boot up before it took forever. Okay, so this product, it comes with a three years warranty. Um, some of them, if you, does come with five years, but I guess this one has come with three for $80 and there's many different sizes of capacity that you can choose from I guess they're out of the the rest of them besides the 512 so if you don't need that much of storage you can get the 512 and spend $45 okay now at that let's take a look at the uh, some of the reviews and see what customers saying about this hard drive so here the titles it made my Dell laptop work as you expect a laptop to work. And that's about a, I say last year. I bought a laptop a year and a half ago. I might the husband try to fix the keyboard of my previous one with a knife. Yes, you read that correctly, a knife. Needless to say, he chose to try to fix it himself instead of asking his wife who built computers for a living for many years. Wow. As I'm sure you can guess, his fix did not fix anything. To the surprise of nobody, it made it worse. So I bought a new laptop and I don't use laptop for much other than just internet browsing or shopping. I use my main gaming rig for anything I want speed or efficiencies for. So rather than putting more money into a broken laptop, I bought a cheapest Dell mistake number one to serve my needs. Good price, decent specs with one major flaw, SATA hard drive and no SSD. I didn't care much as I it wasn't used for anything in point. Mm, so pretty much you just replace it, okay? Big deal. Um, good value drive for pandemic building. Great, five stars. This one we got four, a one star. Surprise. I replaced a 500 gigabyte hard drive that was in my uh, machine because I did a swap in another one and I own with another brand of SSD the same size and the boost speed and everything else was at least three times faster. Not this time. It is slower. Don't know if it is the brand or if I needed a, to upgrade to a larger size, but why not in the other one? I don't think the size is different because um, most of the time when you use uh, this one for an operating system, you can buy like 128 or 256 would be decent and you can use the uh, other drive to store your data so this one it I definitely has to be a defective drive so you could see it should be more faster than three times faster a lot faster than just three times so it has to be a defective drive you should be able to get the replacement on that one okay this one of five star five star so as you can see that this drive is really decent for Four out of five and the review is almost like 900 reviews there so you can pretty much it's a safe bet to buy 
Another one that we have for today's special is the DeWalt Sliding Miter Saw. So I myself, I own a DeWalt brand, a 10 inch. Uh, it's not even sliding and uh, I'm pretty happy with it. Uh, to be honest, I haven't re replaced the blade or anything at all. I just use it and I'm not, a, I'm just a DIY person I do. I build like a, a picnic table with it, a hammock, but uh, other than that and you know, a little bit of garden stuff, but nothing major and I'm happy with it. So this one here, the regular price is usually at about $469 and currently on Amazon you can get it for $100 off and for $369. And you just love the fact that it has free shipping. This thing's gonna weigh like a ton, okay? So let's take a look at some of the pictures that they have. Cam lock miter handle. Um, this one, this is a sliding one, so you can move it um, back and forth. Pretty nice. Okay, it has a little thing here where you uh, collect dust. It will, the kit will include uh, the saw, the blade, the blade wrench, vertical material clamp, and dust bag. Pretty much it. Okay, so let's read more about the product detail itself. We already know what it comes with the two dimensions, uh, specification 15 amps, 12 inch blade diameter, 5 8 or 1 inch arbor size, uh, 3800 RPM motor. Okay, do do do. Miter saw does not come with LED. Oh, okay, so this one doesn't come with the LED uh, laser cutting guide, so you would have to buy it separately. Uh, this one does have a three years warranty on it. Uh, DeWalt is a really good brand. I do own the hammer drill, the drill, the impact, and so far, I would say about, I would say maybe about like eight years and the battery is still going good. Uh, no issue. No complaint with DeWalt. Love it. And here are some more pictures of it. Okay, a little more detail, 15 amp, 3800 RPM. And uh, some of the stuff that you can get along with this uh, is the uh, Microsoft stand here, heavy duty one. This one is 139. And here are other ones that you might consider. Um, this one is it's not a sliding one. So you, if you, you don't need a sliding one, you can save yourself a hundred something. Okay. And this one is a little more expensive. This is like $600. Oh my God. There we go. All right, this is the top review from the United States here. This is back in 2017, five out of five. Wow, nice. Um, this one, four out of five. So four out of five, five. Let's see if we can find one that is like a one star or something, or like a, a really terrible one. Uh, I guess the lowest one is just a three stars out of five. It looked like someone took it off the saw before shipping. Let's see. After unboxing the saw, I inspected it very closely. I noticed the saw blade dragging, sliding on the bottom plastic. See picture. Uh, after I noticed the handle had dark oil smudges on it. Pictures. Someone left a hair in the device too. See pictures. What? By the way, my hair is only one eighth to one fourth long. The saw deck platform and blade cover have scratches, Nick. Lastly, I'm not sure if a protective film is ever placed on these from the factory, possibly near the saw deck. But if so, it looked like someone took it off the saw. Okay, so in other words, it seemed like just maybe like a refurbished item or it was a return item that he or she received it instead of a brand new one. So maybe this person should contact Amazon or whoever they bought it from and just to get a clarification, you know, was it a refurbished, was it a used item? And Amazon is really good with uh, with customer service, stuff like this. Um, I bought items before where it showed that it was delivered and I never, probably delivered to a wrong house and they gladly ship it out like 
within the next uh, day or two. So Amazon is uh, pretty good on that behalf. But uh, that's pretty much going to wrap up for today's specials. If you guys have any questions, um, leave it in the comment below. Other than that, it's a Sunday. Have a safe one. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you, guys. Thank you.